I look like a freaking traffic cone. <sighs> Anyways. Hi besties, it's me Paige. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, I'm gonna be reacting to SB19's interview with Young Hollywood. The title is just SB19 loves their fans. And I was like, yes. I have not reacted to like any of their interviews while they were in the US because um, as soon as they started coming out, I mean, I couldn't really react to Good Day New York because I was literally there watching it live. I wasn't like inside, but I was watching it outside. And then I didn't react to these other two interviews because I literally watched them in the Chicago airport when I was waiting for my flight to go to LA. And then the Zach Singh interview, I was going back and forth on if I wanted to react to it, but I ended up just watching it one night, like when I was just laying in my bed and I was missing SB19. It like took me a couple days to be able to watch the video version of it because I have been down so bad since tour ended. So I'm excited to watch this interview. A lot of their interviews in the States were really, really good. I really loved um, one specifically. It was like a guy interviewer. I can't remember the the name. It was like front row something. I really loved that interview. I think he asked a lot of great questions and he seemed really interested in like Tagalog and learning about the Philippines and stuff. So I loved it a lot. Um, but we will see. I'm excited about this one. I used to watch Young Hollywood when I was like in my teens, like early teens. So this is crazy that they did an interview with Young Hollywood. What's up guys? We are with the Young Hollywood. <laughs> I start crying. Pablo. I'm Josh. And I'm Stel. And we are SV19. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're in LA as a group. What do you love most about the city? What places have you got the chance to see? Weather. The weather. The weather. weather. Bro, the scenery, that's the scenery, so crazy they the say the weather because I was freezing in LA and I'm literally from the Midwest. It was warmer in, when I was in New York than it was when I was in LA. And I love walking every morning. Yeah, the weather is oh, very nice. It is nice though. The scenery is very nice. Everything's nice. Yeah, okay, then come back. Had a news uh, last night that uh, oh, wow, the coyote outside, so we're, we're Not the coyote. We, we did not no, see the coyote don't night. look for so it. <laughs> so sad. Since we uh, we went from New York, New York, we were from New York, then we came here. Uh, it's really different. In New York, oh, uh, yeah. lots of buildings and where, the, where we're staying, but here. Like, we can school. Like, very um, peaceful and very chill. So I felt the same. Around. Is it the same in summer? I think in summer it's really hot here. Yeah. Um, maybe in summer we, we will go back to the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> just stay here when, in, when it's As if the Philippines is scorching hot. You have millions of followers across the channel. What's your favorite part about connecting with your fans? <gasps> oh! Everything. I think it's... Ken um, looks so cute over of, there those favorite things were um, when we we kind of tell jokes that ah, uh, yeah. when we when you make when yeah. we communicate with it's especially like in twitter yeah, yeah especially in twitter we oh have God, I love when they're inside jokes are on and twitter. Then, um, they kind of ride or join us with their humor with their um, jokes and such yeah they actually they made fun of us even, <laughs> even <made fun laughs> of us. yeah it's just a healthy relationship i, I would say i think more than the, the relationship with social media I really like meeting all of our fans because, you know, just like when we went here in our uh, previous show in, in New York, we saw um, not just Filipinos but foreign fans as well, and they were really singing along with our song. So stop! Really Is he talking about us? Is he talking about, like, stop? Don't even... Because I, I know they said they talked about this in another interview. I'm going to throw up. Something really new for a foreigner to, Cute you know, me Filipino, rapping a lot and they memorized in it. New York. Y'all, did y'all see they, that? They sang really loud when we were performing, so it was another thing is I never realized how loud I was until I rewatched my concert videos and I was panicking after the first interview where they talked about this, being like, What did they hear from me personally? Like what did they hear? I'm concerned about it, but it's fine. Uh, I have no right. regrets very heartfelt moment for us. Oh, that's so, it's so cute. It's gonna be a big responsibility for our staff to put subtitles on yeah, our vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Funny, um, we have this thing on Twitter. It's called Mention Party. Yeah, I love doing Mention Party. Not the event. Menpa. Uh, I, I, I have PTSD. To, you know, update to our fans. I'm Hopia. And, um, talk to them. Um, even um, tell a joke. 
and use our own pictures, our memes on the internet. Oh my god. Yeah, I love doing that to our fans because uh, that's the only time where we can talk to them. That, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone, I think, right now, because we're in LA, so we need to take a lot of oh, yeah. pictures. Okay, Mr. Instagram, king of Instagram. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind the song? Okay, but I already know this, but I'll still pretend like I don't. Well, the inspiration is um, since we ha we've had pandemic and we were able to you know, go outside, um, like talk to each other face to face. Everybody's wearing face masks. It's really it's really hard for us. It's, it's um since we're slowly um, getting back to normal. Um, it's 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 great to like create a song that's about reconnecting and you know finding peace and happiness with uh the, the people that you love once again so that's basically what um where you at is all about <gasps> what is your most favorite thing that is present in your life right now that's a cute question That's, uh, that's an interesting question. <clears throat> I think everything, you know? I, um, one would be, of course, I think um, performing in front of our 18, our fans. So, of course, this is our dream. This is something that we love to do. So, I think this is something that, yeah, yeah I, one of I our favorite. We've been waiting for this moment all, all this time. Like, oh, we have to. Uh, we we're... have to. The favorite thing is we were able to share uh, the Filipino culture to everyone, to the Filipino music in, in, the, in the world. In Why the is world, Pablo sitting so? Yeah, that's for me. How about okay, you? king of well, posture. For me, I think. Couldn't be. Favorite me. thing right to do right now. Well, well, my favorite experience is the wide tour because you know we went to different. Cities, me too. We went to different countries. We get to experience different culture and different scener sceneries and. I really love that, you know, certain, um, that, that we get to do that and experience the world. And that's because we're, we're, we're here right now. We, we came all the way from the Philippines and we get to I'm so happy they got to travel and see so things. I think that's the best experience. Ken? So yeah. Okay. <laughs> One item you can't live without. My phone. Well, I wish I could say bidet, but <laughs> unfortunately. Stop, I heard about this. I saw him talking at one of the consulate events saying that, like, we don't have bidets here. We do have them here, they're just not everywhere. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's <clears throat> common here, but in the Philippines, God, we have, you know, losing those, mind. a traditional apple, like scope, and we use it, you know, during the. But I don't know if, if everyone knows it. Yeah, but I haven't yeah, brought one, so <laughs> yeah, I have to live with it. That's my one Wait, question. No way. Why don't Americans use bidet? I mean... Like, we literally yeah, have them. Yeah, They're just not... Proper <laughs> not <laughs> what do you say? It's not a proper question to ask. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm just wondering. I was, I'm just wondering. Because, you know, it's... You know, Ken's like, I don't want the mic. From all over the world, right? So I'm just asking, why are we using the day? And why are you not? Cool. Tell me more. <laughs> uh, for me, um, one thing that I need oh, is God. moisturizer. Wow. Uh, yeah, moisturizer. Same. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'll moisturize you. I'm sorry? Um, for me, other than, um, for me, other than the I cannot stand um, them. necessary <laughs> things, I want is candy. I always need a candy, yeah. Um, clothes. Well, <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Yeah. Why are they so funny for no reason? Laptop. Uh, mm -hmm. Who is most likely to forget a dance with on stage and who takes the longest to get ready? Most likely to forget the a dance move. The longest to get ready, I think it's Stella. 
Yeah, I think. So. You, you, you will mention other, other members. Oh, oh, turns out it's me. Yeah. <laughs> so I think because um, other, I mean, when we get ready, uh, it, they're going to call us one by one to get um, glam and dress up. Sure? To get glam. But still, I, Are you sure it's me? Um. Okay, maybe, maybe because of the because moisturizer. Because she does yeah. a lot of um, <laughs> skincare. I moisturize a lot. Skincare. Like, like, oh, body, it's a moisturizer. Thing. So, okay, yeah. still. Work. Uh, okay, that's me. Okay. What's the other question? Choreography. Who does? I think so. You you made up some choreographies when you forget yeah. one. Okay. You do other you steps. You do freestyle. Yeah. You do freestyle. <laughs> You made a mistake. When you make a mistake, you do freestyle. Freestyle hot dog dance. What is one huge goal you have as a group? Is it to perform at Coachella or Master Square Garden? Uh, for them performing at Coachella would be great, but like I do not want to go to Coachella. Uh, what if they go? I have to go. What if they go? I have to go. Yeah. The Stop. No. Oh God. They. Yeah, I know they're not playing heads up. Oh Lord. A dolphin? Shower. Shower curtain? Shower third word. Shower. Shower. Uh, dancing in the shower? Singing in, in the shower. Uh, eating in the shower? <laughs> third word. Shower. First word. Eating. Biting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> go. oh no. Again, again. Right. <laughs> box. 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 Uh, blowing the candle. Birthday candle. Blowing the candle. Three words. <laughs> Third word. First word. Slicing. Whipping the cake. Whipping the cake. Josh. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are not good actors, you know? It's baking a cake. Baking a cake? <sighs> bicycle? Three words? Yeah. Riding a bicycle. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. Easy peasy, little squeezy. All right. Okay. <laughs> Easy peasy, little squeezy. Two words? All right. Second word? Crown? Wearing? Lion King? Yeah. Lion King! Okay, okay. Oh, Pablo with the... Two words? Monkey? Deodorant? Deodorant. Um. This probably doesn't help that they have to do it in English. One word. Two words. Oh my god, he's so cute. Can I can't. Deodorant underarm? He's like English. Playing a guitar. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Playing a guitar at the midnight. <laughs> Second word. Playing guitar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Playing guitar at the midnight. Yeah. First word. Bowling. Okay. One word only. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. I want to play heads up with them. Three words. Eyeliner. Did he not just say it? Putting makeup. Oh, putting makeup. I thought he literally said doing your makeup. Eyeliner. Putting. First word. What's the first word? What's the first word? Huh? Putting. Applying. Um, sounds like. Oh, that's a good clue that Pablo just did. His brain is so large for that. <laughs> Do we make up? Yo! Three words. Congratulating. Wiener. Wiener, third word? Wait, what is the first word? Ah, um, <laughs> taking a reward. Something like that. Um, um, receiving. Receiving. Receiving first word. First word. Wiener. Winner, winning an award. Yeah! All right. What?
<laughs> Ken literally does nothing and he makes me laugh. Like he's just so funny for no reason. What that? <laughs> he's just like, oh, what's that? <laughs> oh my god, I love them. Right? Y'all like <laughs> confusing him, damn. But why is the food like that? Like, <laughs> yeah, what? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna see it and be like, you guys, I hate you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching oh. Hollywood. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, we had fun doing the games and whatnot. We enjoyed the game so much. Like, yes. If we can do it with round three to four, we will do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And guys, please don't forget to check us out. Just search for SB19 Official. Our official SB19 on all social media platforms, and of course, okay, I'll make sure to follow you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. See you soon. Oh my god, that was so cute. I love that they played a game because I don't think I've seen a US interview yet where they played a game. So that was cute. Oh my god, like the questions were nothing crazy. Um, but the game was super fun and also they're just so precious. I love seeing I love hearing them talk about Like their first impressions of the US and like I wish I could ask them like Like culture shock things that they saw while they were here because I'm just intrigued to know <laughs> um, But like I don't know I never thought that they would ever come here. So I love that they got so many interview opportunities while they were here and i hope they enjoyed it here and i know they said they're gonna come back next year um but give me time to get money and i will see you there thank you so much oh my gosh but the bidet question that really took me out that literally took me out guys don't misunderstand we have them here but like not every house or every hotel has them okay they're not as popular, I would say. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that you missed out on it. But okay, anyways. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fun. They're so funny. They are, even when they have to speak English, they're hilarious. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.